We now bring you a message to the whole party, the whole army, and the people of all nationalities throughout the country. By the Central Committee of the Communist Party of China, the Standing Committee of the National People's Congress of the People's Republic of China, the State Council of the People's Republic of China, and the Military Commission of the Central Committee of the Communist Party of China. A message to the whole party, the whole army, and the people of all nationalities throughout the country by the Central Committee of the Communist Party of China, the Standing Committee of the National People's Congress of the People's Republic of China, the State Council of the People's Republic of China, and the Military Commission of the Central Committee of the Communist Party of China. The Central Committee of the Communist Party of China. The Standing Committee of the National People's Congress of the People's Republic of China. The State Council of the People's Republic of China. And the Military Commission of the Central Committee of the Communist Party of China. Announce the deepest grief to the whole party the whole army, and the people of all nationalities throughout the country. Comrade Mao Zedong, the esteemed and beloved great leader of our country, our army, and the people of all the nationalities of our country, the great teacher of the international proletariat, and the oppressed nations and oppressed people. Chairman of the Central Committee of the Communist Party of China. Chairman of the Military Commission of the Central Committee of the Communist Party of China. And Honorary Chairman of the National Committee of the Chinese People's Political Constitutive Conference. Passed away at zero ten hours, September the ninth, nineteen seventy-six, in Peking, because of the worsening of his illness and despite all treatment. Although meticulous medical care was given him in every way after he fell ill. Chairman Mao Zedong was the founder and wise leader of the Communist Party of China, the Chinese People's Liberation Army, and the People's Republic of China. Chairman Mao led our party in waging a protracted, acute, and complex struggle against the right and left opportunist lines in our party. Defeating the opportunist lines pursued by Chen Du Xiu, Chu Chu Bai, Li Li Sun, Mo Zhang Long, Wang Ming, Zhang Guo Tao, Cao Feng, Li Su Shi, and Peng De Huai. And again, during the great proletarian cultural revolution, triumphing over the counter revolutionary revisionist line of Lu Xiaoqi, Lin Biao, and Zhang Xiaoping, thus enabling our party to develop and grow in strength steadily in class struggle and the struggle between the two lines. Led by Chairman Mao, the Communist Party of China has developed through a two-short path into a great, glorious, 
and correct Marxist Leninist parties, which is today exercising leadership over the People's Republic of China. Following the period of the new democratic revolution, Chairman Mao, in accordance with the universal truth of Marxism, Leninism, and by combining it with the concrete practice of the Chinese Revolution, creatively laid down the general line and general policy of the new democratic revolution. Founded the Chinese People's Liberation Army and pointed out that the seizure of political power by armed force in China could be achieved only by following the road of building rural base areas, using the countryside to encircle the cities, and finally seizing the cities, and not by any other road. To let our party, our army, and the people of our country, in using people's work to overthrow the reactionary rule of imperialism, Brutalism and bureaucrat capitalism, winning the great victory of the new democratic revolution and founding the People's Republic of China. The victory of the Chinese People's Revolution led by Chairman Mao changed the situation in the East and the world and set a new trail for the cause of liberation of the oppressed nations and oppressed people. In the period of the First Act Revolution, Chairman Mao comprehensively summed up the positive as well as the negative experience of the international communist movement. Can he certainly analyze the class relations in socialist society? And for the first time in the history of the development of Marxism, I equivocally pointed out that there are still classes and class struggles after the socialist transformation of the ownership of the means of production has in the main been completed. To the scientific conclusion, that the bourgeoisie is right in the Communist Party. Put forth the great theory in continuing the revolution under the dictatorship of the proletariat, and laid down the party's basic line for the entire historical period of socialism. Guided by Chairman Mao's proletarian revolutionary line, our party, our army, and the people of our country continued their triumphant advance and seized great victories in the socialist revolution and socialist construction, particularly in the great proletarian cultural revolution. In criticizing Lin Biao and Confucius, and in criticizing Deng Xiaoping, and in opposing the right deviationist attempt at reducing correct verdicts. Upholding socialism and consolidating the dictatorship of the proletariat in the People's Republic of China, a country with a vast expanse and a large population, is a great contribution of world historic significance which Chairman Mao Zedong made to the present era. At the same time, it has provided his experience for the international communist movement in combating and preventing revolutionism, consolidating the dictatorship of the proletariat, preventing capitalist restoration, and building socialism. All the victories of the Chinese people were achieved under the leadership of Chairman Mao. They are all great victories for multiple thought. The radiance of multiple thought will forever illuminate the road of advance of the Chinese people. Chairman Mao Zedong 
somewhat the revolutionary process in the international communist movement. Put forward a series of scientific pieces in which the theoretical theory of Marxism and indicated the orientation of struggles to the Chinese people and the revolutionary people throughout the world. With a great boldness and vision of a proletarian revolutionary, he initiated in the international communist movement the great struggle to criticize Martin revisionism, with the Soviet revisionist Renovitz seat at the core. He noted the vigorous development of the cause of the world proletarian revolution in the presence of the people of all countries against imperialism and hegemonism and pushed the history of mankind forward. German Mao Zedong was the greatest monster of the contemporary era. In the past half a century and more, Basing himself on the principle of interpreting the universal truth of Marxism and Leninism with the concrete practice of the revolution, he inherited, defended, and developed Marxism and Leninism in the protracted struggle against the class enemies of home and abroad, both inside and outside the party, and wrote a most brilliant chapter in the history of the movement of proletarian revolution. He dedicated all his energies throughout his life to the liberation of the Chinese people, to the emancipation of the oppressed nations and oppressed people that reigned over, and to the cause of communism. With the great reserve of the proletarian revolutionary, he waged a tenacious struggle against his illness, continued to lead the work of the whole party the whole army and the whole nation down the pyramid and fell for his last breath. The magnificent contributions he made for the Chinese people, the international proletariat, and the revolutionary people of the whole world are immortal. The Chinese people and the revolutionary people the world over love him from the bottom of their hearts and have boundless admiration and respect for him. The passing away of German Mazatan is an inestimable loss to our country, our army, and the people of all the nationalities of our country. To the international proletariat and the revolutionary people of all countries, and to the international communist movement, his passing away is bound to evoke immense grief in the hearts of the people of all countries and the revolutionary people of all countries. The Central Committee of the Communist Party of China calls on the whole party, the whole army, and the people of all nationalities throughout the country to turn their grief into strength, not determination. We must carry on the current left behind by Chairman Mao and persist in taking class struggle as the key link. Keep to the party's basic line and persevere in continuing the revolution under the dictatorship of the proletariat. We must carry on the cause left behind by Chairman Mao in strengthening the centralized leadership of the party resolutely uphold the unity and unification of the party and closely rally around the party central committee. We will send the building of the party ideologically and organizationally in the course of the struggle between the two lines and resolutely implement the principle of the three in one combination of the old, middle age, and young in accordance with the five requirements we are bringing up successors to the cause of the proletarian revolution. We must carry on the path left behind by Chairman Mao 
and consolidate the great unity of the people of all nationalities under the leadership of the working class and based on the worker peasant alliance to deepen the criticism of Deng Xiaoping, continue the struggle to repose the right deviationist attempt at the eventually correct verdict, consolidate and develop the victories of the great proletarian culture revolution, enthusiastically support the new socialist thing, restrict these were right, and further consolidate the dictatorship of the proletariat in our country. We should continue to unfold the three great revolutionary movements of class struggle, the struggle for production and scientific experiment. Build our country independently and with initiatives in our own hands. Through self-reliance, hard struggle, diligence and trust, and go all out, far high, and achieve greater, faster, better, and more economical results in building socialism. We must carry on the cause left behind by Chairman Mao and resolutely implement his line on army building. Send in the building of the army. Send in the building of the militia. Send in the preparedness against crime. Heighten our vigilance and be ready at all times to wipe out any enemy the best to intrude. We are determined to liberate Taiwan. We must carry on the cause left behind by Chairman Mao and continue to carry out Chairman Mao's revolutionary line and policies in foreign affairs resolutely. We must adhere to proletarian internationalism, strengthen the unity between our parties and the genuine Marxist Leninist parties and organizations all over the world, strengthen the unity between the people of our country and the people of all other countries, especially those of the third world countries. Unite with all the forces in the world that can be united and carry the struggle against imperialism, social imperialism, and modern revisionism through to the end. We will never seek to germinate, and will never be a superpower. We must carry on the path left behind by Chairman Mao, and the figure of our study of Marxism, Leninism, multiple thought. Apply ourselves to the study of work by Marx, Engels, Lenin, and Stalin, and work by Chairman Mao. Fight for the complete overthrow of the bourgeoisie and all other exploiting classes. For the establishment of the dictatorship of the proletariat in place of the dictatorship of the bourgeoisie. And for the triumph of socialism over capitalism. And strive to build our country into a powerful socialist state. Make a still greater contribution to humanity and realize the ultimate goal of communism. Now this invincible Marxism, Leninism, multiple thought. Long live the great, glorious, and correct Communist Party of China. Eternal glory to our great leaders and teachers, Chairman Mao Zedong. <laughs>